Applejack? Do you like that? Is that your cat bed? Speak! Of course you're not going to speak on YouTube. You're just going to sit there and purr. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Well, hello world. I'm Maya Sendermeyer, and I'm so happy to be back here filming another vlog right here on YouTube and I don't really need to explain myself anymore because as you guys see I have an introduction for my vlogs and uh, as you guys notice I have been uh, editing my videos more often which I said I would do and you notice I have more day in the life type vlogs which are really popular right now and I believe I've told you why I've started doing these day in the life vlogs and yes, it's because uh, Casey Neistat inspired me. Um, I love his day in the life uh, style vlogging and I thought that would be fun for me to do. I didn't want people to see me just sitting where I am today like I had been in the past. Um, and a second reason why I did that is because I want YouTube to know as a part of marrying autism awareness and autism acceptance that I live a normal life just like everybody else. And, even though I'm not traveling to Peru, or I'm not traveling to Hawaii, or I'm not traveling here and there and there, doing all kinds of talks or anything. Um, I wanted uh, you to see that I live a normal life like everybody else, and that I can have an adventure just right here in Atlanta, or even right here in the state of Georgia. Like, you saw me go to Lake Blackshear, which is in Cordell, Georgia. and. That's to help raise autism acceptance. Um, I also um, wanted to show you what my life is like, which is the uh, purpose of daily blogging. So, uh, as you guys know, I've also decided to add music to it. Like right now, you're hearing uh, uh, Carp Diem, which is the uh, theme song I'd like to put into more of my daily vlogs, even though I like a lot of the music that Casey Neistat puts into his vlogs because uh, it's like dub music mixed with oldies style music. And that's what I think makes a video upbeat and positive. So uh, before I tell you what, why I have been posting more videos and what the future of Hello World with Maya represents um, or what's going on, I'd like you to click up here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and the reason why is because I got the song from a uh, blog that I stumbled upon of uh, a girl named, or a lady named Elia who uh, decided to uh, be brave enough to chop all of her beautiful hair off because uh, she and her husband uh, decided to travel the world together after, as a newlywed couple. And what they're doing to travel is they're volunteering different places and they're uh, working with a lot of animal conservation projects, and they're working with, uh, with different uh, local schools and organizations. They're teaching English and things like that. And I just thought they'd be really neat. And I got this song from uh, this video up here in the upper right hand corner, uh, which is an intro to Steve and Elia. You may want to check them out because they have a very distinct way of vlogging. And I would highly recommend that you subscribe to their channel, even though they're not autistic. So, uh, anyway, the reason why I have been posting vlogs right here on YouTube is because I've been doing quite a bit of research and listening to a lot of uh, other vloggers, and they said that they found that they were most successful when they were posting videos every day around the same time. And I'm wondering, why in the world that did dawn on me, being that I'm a person that lives in a routine. And 
At first I was uh, doing vlogs and trying to post them on uh, every Sunday, but I decided to move to daily vlogs uh, uh, Monday, I mean every single day of the week at the same time frame except for Saturday night because I observed the Sabbath. But uh, if you think about it, there are popular shows on the regular TV or uh, regular television like uh, ABC at 8.30 on uh, Thursday nights, you find Young Sheldon, and at 8 a.m. is when you can find The Big Bang Theory. Now, if you want to watch reruns of The Big Bang Theory, you have to go to somewhere like TBS, or here in Atlanta, we have Peachtree TV, and you just sit and you watch those shows. I mean, they're on at a certain time. Like, when I used to watch Peachtree TV before I got rid of um, local... Uh, channels all together before I switched to Roku eventually, I uh, found that that there was a consistency in timing where uh, the Big Bang Theory was on at 6 and 6.30, and that's how I became a really big fan of the show, was just by watching those reruns. And then if you look at the uh, news, they're consistent too. They start right at uh, 10 a.m. or 10 p.m., on Fox, I mean, on Fox, not Fox News, but the local channel Fox where you can watch The Simpsons and all that. And then if you uh, tune into other channels, a lot of them are on at 11 p.m. at night. So those are some reasons why. So what I've uh, decided to do is uh, post a new video every morning at 8.30 a.m. And... Uh, I also uh, decided to even do a schedule for my written blogs because I want to draw people to my blogs and I want people to know what I do, who I am, because I'm building a brand for myself. So uh, every Monday at 5 p.m. you can find a new blog on WordPress.com and you can find these under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. That's Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. However, these blogs are not to day in the life of Maya Sundermeyer. These blogs are not about Maya. I mean, yes, I have uh, I have little side stories in there about me, but the majority of purpose of these blogs are scholarly and practical application. For instance, I write a lot of blogs about autism airport rehearsal tours because I have ideas, and I'm very passionate about this. And I mean, I sit on the ADA committee at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, so why not uh, write about something that I'm passionate about and also provide tips for families out there that uh, have autistic children? Uh, there's that. And then I'm also interested in writing in other topics about the ways that families can help a child with autism or an autistic child uh, strive towards independence. Um, I'm also recently writing a blog about the difference uh, in social skills in a, in a natural setting versus social skills learned in a paid setting. And I think that these are uh, things that people can learn from. I mean, yes, I mean, I recently wrote a special edition article about uh, being an acquainted with uh, Dr. Temple Grandin, but that was just really special. I wrote that in the wake of uh, listening to a uh, to a YouTube channel called Autism Live, and uh, I was listening to Dr. Temple's friend, uh, Anita Lesko, who recently wrote a book about her called uh, The Stories I Tell My Friends. And I also saw that Anita has a uh, set of written blogs herself, so she made, I decided to uh, get inspired and write my own story, my own stories about Temple and the, how she's really inspired me. I mean, yeah, sure, she hasn't always been the most friendly, but she, in the middle of that unfriendly chat, she gave me a lot of really good uh, advice on, uh, you know, you're on, just because you're autistic doesn't mean that your brain isn't gonna stop growing. And she also told me that I need to take baby steps and focus on what I can do and not what I can't, which I thought were very profound. Um, I mean, I've had other uh, conversations with her where she was nicer. And I mean, I've connected with her liaison and all that, uh, which is really great. So um, 
I just decided to uh, bite the bullet or whatever it is and write about her. But majority of my blogs, they're just I want to use them for scholarly. And if I write if I write about anything in regards to Dr. Grandin, it'll probably be her practical steps that families can take in addition to my own ideas. So. Anyway, uh, before I go, uh, if you want to hear some more of that Autism Live interview, which was heard on uh, April 2nd, 2018, again, just click right there, which is right under the uh, Stephen and Elia video. So, uh, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now.